John James Audubon. John James Audubon discovered 25 species of birds. He was born in Haiti. His father was a French naval officer who wanted his son to follow in his footsteps, so he shipped him off to military school. Audubon got seasickness, had bad navigation skills, and was also bad at mathematics. Therefore, he could not join the French Navy. He grew up to be a naturalist, an ornithologist, and a painter. He also moved around a lot, mostly in the Kentucky area. This is, I think this might be a self-portrait, and this is what my art still took. Like. At one point, he went bankrupt and was thrown in jail for debt. Audubon loved to hunt, but was also an animal lover. He drew animals such as otters, bears, foxes, birds, and other North American species. Therefore, he painted this. This is a painting of realism. It is a scene from nature. I get the feeling of sadness when I look at this painting. Do you? Mm-hmm. Um, I think Audubon put dark colors in this painting to resemble the sadness. If you look closely, you can see he's trapped. I think the otter looks sad, mad, and sorrowful. Look at the contrast on the otter. It looks like he goes from a dark brownish color to a pale white. The horizon looks like it goes from a neutral gray color to a pale beige. If you look at the otter's paw, you can see his dark fur next to his white claws. I've had my eyes almost glued to this piece for three weeks, so take a break with me and close your eyes. Now open them. Where are your eyes drawn to? Megan. The water's, the otter's mouth. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the sky because it's so light. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also think that Audubon made this since he loved to hunt. I think he was out hunting one day and he saw an otter trapped and he made this because of his anger of trapping animals. This is the piece I created symbolizing a trapped otter. It represents the animal trap, which I feel is the focal point and message the artist conveyed in this painting. It also represents animal cruelty, the fur trade, and how it affected the animal population. Therefore, I chose this piece because I agreed with the artist's message. Remember this quote by Mark Chagall. Great art picks up where nature ends. Thank you.